I'm a type 1 diabetic um, and I have been since I was a child um, and in January 2022 um, I was also diagnosed with chronic kidney disease um, after suffering with a number of uh, your, quite serious urine infections um, and then in February um, I woke up in the middle of the night with some sort of pain around my kidney area um, it, which wasn't really too troubling for me because it was something that I was sort of used to after having lots of infections and things so I didn't really think much of it um, I went downstairs to get some pain relief and a hot water bottle and jumped back into bed um, but it just sort of got worse a lot very very quickly um, my partner was quite insistent that I went to the hospital um, so going from home to hospital there was probably a time period of about two hours um, and by the time I got to the desk at the a and &E, I just collapsed on the floor because um, I was that poorly um, but I do remember at that point I was quite sort of as I was lying on the floor trying to stay conscious I was quite um, insistent on telling them that I had had sepsis before um, and that it did feel similar and I was very insistent that the doctors and the nurses knew that because I knew that it was important um, so yeah so and then from there um, I was in A&E for quite a substantial period of time a lot of which I don't really remember because I was so poorly um, and eventually I went into septic shock while I was in A&E um, and they struggled to keep my blood pressure up um, just was just very very unwell so they started trying to do things to resuscitate me but it wasn't really working uh, so at that point I was moved into intensive care um, and I stayed in intensive care for about two and a half weeks um, this first sort of week of that I was extremely poorly and I don't really remember a lot um, and then after those sort of two and a half weeks in various treatments and bits and pieces I was then moved into a, um, a specialist kidney unit because my kidneys had rapidly sort of failed whilst I was unwell um, and I was on a dialysis machine whilst I was in intensive care and um, so then I was I was followed up then in the in the kidney unit um, and I was there for another sort of three weeks before being discharged to home um, and then following that recovery was it took a while obviously to to get back to how where I was physically to be fair I'd probably say that I'm probably still not there really don't think I'm still fully recovered physically I don't know whether I ever sort of will be be able to get back to the levels of fitness that I had before um, I was I was unwell um, and I also suffered with other various bits and pieces relating to post sepsis syndrome um, I suffered with PTSD which I had some some counselling for through a charity which was amazing um, and really really helped and I'm in a much better place now but um, yeah it, it wasn't over once I left the hospital let's say I was very I just felt really unwell I was sort of shivering uh, it felt freezing cold but I had a really high temperature I was vomiting um, I felt really breathless I felt like I couldn't breathe properly um, and I just felt this sort of overwhelming feeling that not so much that I felt like I was going to die I just felt like I knew that it was bad um, and that happened very very quickly so I didn't feel like that when I first started to feel this kidney pain but within like a couple of hours I just wasn't capable of looking after myself wasn't capable of being stood up and holding a conversation it just wasn't wasn't right at all I think for type 1 diabetics I think it's just important to understand that when you have an infection you can become more poorly and poorly more quickly maybe than your average person because your immune system just isn't 
you know it's not on the same level with as someone without diabetes and I think it's just important that if you think that something isn't right that you get help or you seek support don't don't put it to the back of your mind or on the back burner because you know in a, in a serious situation such as this one it might actually save your life and I think sometimes I, I mean I'm still guilty of it now where I think oh I won't bother the doctor with that or you know I won't bother them with x y and z but like I say it can actually save your life if you you know you do make that call or seek that support um that's definitely something that I've taken away from this 